We've got a pretty big Monday ahead, guys. If we have a look at the numbers, it was $937 worth of weekend sales. We had a total of 26 sales, and that was at an average sale price of $36. Now, fortunately, we did have a few sales come through this morning, so we've actually got a total of 30 sales going into the mailbag today. And I'm gonna uh, step you guys through the process as to how we actually go about shipping it off so it's received in the buyer's hands in its original condition. Uh, Courtney's in today as well in a couple of hours. She's also gonna be giving us a bit of an update on how her eBay store is going. She's been doing this now for about 10 weeks or so, uh, and she's having some pretty good success as a bit of a spoiler alert. Um, so stick around for that. Uh, and I'm also gonna be telling you guys the reason as to why we won't be thrifting for the rest of the week. I know, it sounds crazy, but we're actually got a pretty good reason. So we'll dive into that as well. Let's get into some of these sold items. Should be a fun episode. All right, guys, we're gonna be doing a top 10 of our 30 sold items over the weekend. This one here was the 10th best seller. Cocaine Cowboys, a double set on DVD. Um, this one came through for $32. And as you can see there, it was an old X rental copy. Um, so this was part of the Blockbuster store buyout that we did a few months back. Um, so they are slowly still uh, trickling through. We didn't get a crazy ton of DVD sales uh, over the weekend, but this one was a good one at 32 bucks. I'll show you guys uh, what I'm doing for, or what Courtney's doing for postage for these sort of DVDs. We use these, which are the large envelopes. So an important one to note when you're doing the shipping of these, you don't wanna just whack them in like that because Australia Post won't like it. You actually wanna put them in like that. And then that's fine on the width. There's no issues going into the mailbox that way. So use that. It's a little bit cheaper than putting it into a small satchel. Uh, that's how I like to do the postage for multiples of two. Okay, number nine is this one here, guys. Now, I'm not going to speak too much of this because I feel like I've spoken about it endless times on this channel. It's the 4X beer-related hat. Anything beer merchandise related, 4X being a big one, um, these hats sell very well. And we got, how much was it, Courtney? 35? 34. $34. Um, there was a best offer on that one. So, awesome hat. You buy these for no more than about 2 or $3. Um, to get them into a, a mailbag, you actually put them into a cardboard box. Um, so we're gonna put it into a cardboard box. You basically just wanna protect the brim. Um, so that's the only thing you need to be aware of when you're selling your hats. We've really gotta do something about all of these DVDs. These are actually all listed and I've not yet stored them away. So it's causing issues at the moment. It's triggering. Yeah, it's triggering. I don't like a messy office and it's starting to get a little bit messy. Um, this is the next one. This one's come in at number eight. A very good game, uh, The Simpsons Wrestling. Can't remember where along the line we picked this one up for, but I've actually forgotten how much it sold for, Courtney. Is that 40? Uh, yeah. Therefore, the comps will say. I think it was so. around about, we've done it in order. 38 to 40. 38 to 40, the comps are telling us. Um, this is a good game though. Anything Simpsons obviously is gonna be great. And a PS1 game too, even better. Yeah, we put those in boxes as well. Into the case. Yep, that goes into a cardboard, uh, cardboard box as well. We put butcher's paper and bubble wrap um, for these ones. And always, just because of the crushing, it often gets crushed if it was to go into a satchel, uh, we go ahead and we put that one into a box as well. Now, Courtney last week started a SKU system, guys. Look at this. Number 009, number 10. Courtney's been doing some very good work and it made this pick very easy. These are the ASICs. What are they? The Gel Tigers, I think they are. Um, these ones sold for $40, guys. Good pair of shoes, a brand that I'm always picking up. This sort of casual style of ASICS footwear is always a pretty good seller for me. Um, certainly something that I'm picking up whenever I'm seeing it, especially flea markets. I always seem to find them in fleet. Um, and you get five to 10 bucks worth of the purchase price and you get a turnaround of about 40 or $50. Um, these can just simply go into a satchel. I actually do it like this with the postage of my shoes. I turn them over like that and then I slide them into the mailbag just like that. And that way they fit perfect. When you do it like that, you can see the V. Sometimes it won't actually fit into the mailbag, but as soon as you turn it over like that, it's nice and even and it just slides straight in. It was a lesson that Courtney, you, you learned that early on. You were trying to do them like that. Yeah, still struggling. Still struggling? As soon as I said do it like that, yeah. job's a lot easier. Yeah. All right, now this is the next one. I don't know what number we're up to, but regardless, it doesn't matter. Um, this one here was a Gillaroos women's... Um, so this is the Gillaroos. So it's the Women's Rugby League, the Women's National Rugby League side. And I knew it was a player issue just simply for the player number that was on it. If you were to buy this generically out of a retail store, they wouldn't have a specified player number on the bag. So I found this in an op shop recently. It was only $4.00. Had a viewer of the channel actually say that they wanted to get their hands on this and we're doing a local pickup in a couple of hours he's going to be here he actually could be here he said 12 o'clock and it's 12 20. Yeah. um so he could be knocking any second uh, and he's taking this away for 40 dollars. so that was a very good sale too 36 profit 
All right, now I did a bit of a, a grab over at my parents' place of my old Pokemon cards back when I was a kid. Have a look at this. Nine Tails. It's a 2006 edition. Um, so yeah, I, look, I did some comp research on a few of these holographic cards, and this one was worth quite a bit of money. And we ended up getting a, well, probably a two or a three day sell through rate on this one, sold very fast, uh, and it sold for $49.95. So with this one, we're gonna put it into a padded mailer. Um, we're just gonna, yeah, put it into a padded mailer, maybe a bit of cardboard. Yeah, we do cardboard with them. We do cardboard, don't we, yeah. So you know it better than me. <laughs> Cardboard, cardboard, into a padded mailer, already got the bubble wrap within the padded mailer. They cost about a dollar to pick up, but I think for these sorts of items, um, you really want to be doing your due, due diligence and putting a bit of cardboard with that padded mailer. But yeah, $49.95 on some Pokemon cards. We've got a few more here as well. And these are all individually listed too. So if you want to get your hands on any of these, let me know. All right, I think this is number four, guys. We've got the Nike 270 Reacts. Uh, very good pair of shoes, these ones, and the soles are in excellent condition. It all comes down to quality at the end of the day, guys. If these were in ratty condition, you're not gonna get the $50 sale price that we were able to get for these ones. So I think I could have held out a few more uh, for a few more dollars. I think I probably could have got about 60, maybe 70 on these, um, but I'm still pretty stoked to get a $50 sale price. They should hopefully, using our little trick, fit into a small satchel, uh, which would be nice because we'll Make us a few more dollars profit. All right, this one was the next one, guys. State of Origin is on at the moment. Um, so no wonder this one's come through and sold. 55, I think, Courtney? Yeah. 55 bucks for this one. I think I had it priced at 60 and we took a best offer. It's a size medium. It's a football jersey. Sporting gear goes really well. So I think I'm actually going to phase out of my sports gear, guys. So if you do want any wholesale uh, on clothing, I've got these 10 tubs of clothing. A lot of them are actually sports gear. And I, I kind of initially held on to the sports gear to want to try and keep selling it like I have with this one here, but I'm actually going to phase out of it. I'm going to do wholesale prices for you guys, the audience, um, for not only sports gear, but all of my remaining stuff as well. So I don't know what the price points will be just yet. I'm going to make it a very fair deal for you guys. Um, so let me know on Instagram if you want to get your hands on some sports gear plus all of the other stuff, because if you don't buy it, I'm just going to donate it to the op shops. So this one here is the endangered species. Um, we've got 14 volumes here of this X Factor comic book or X-Men, I think. Yeah, it's all X-Men. Don't know, don't know why that says X Factor. But um, yeah, there's, I don't know. It was a big comic book bundle that we bought at a um, cash converters. And I paid, I think I paid $300 and I got about 500 different comic books. And this was just one that I pulled together just looking at the endangered species here. Um, so I found that there was a bit of a set. I don't know if it's complete or not. I listed it up for $100 and uh, we got a $75 sale price. So I was kind of happy about that. 75 is pretty decent. Um, we're gonna, well, how are we going to do this one? Because I've never done one with multiple comic books. Maybe like a really, really, like a box, like a shallow box. I think it's going to go in a box. Because yeah. normally what Courtney does with comic books, like say it was one or two comic books, we'd go ahead and do the cardboard. The bubble wrap satchel. Cardboard bubble wrap satchel. But for this one, it's actually quite thick. It's also quite heavy. Yeah, but... It wouldn't go over the five kilo limit of a satchel. But I just think I just think that sort of heaviness shouldn't be good to put in a satchel. So if, if, if we go with some bubble wrap, we put it into a box, have some arts and crafts to cut the box down to the right size, that should go for no more than about 10 to $15. Mm. Not bad. This one here, guys, was the best. These are the Asics Gel Keanu 22s. A very, very good pair of running shoes. Love the fact that these are a plain black. Um, I thought they would go quick based on the colorway. Look, look at the soles there, guys. That's why this is the number one sale that we've had this weekend. Uh, we got an $80 sale price on these. Um, so yeah, look, if you were watching back in the day, three years ago, the first thing that I found money in and found profit in was not only running shoes, but it was also the Asics Gel Keanos. And here we are three years later, it's my number one selling item over the weekend. Hi guys, I'm just doing a eBay store update for my store. Um, this is like the 10th or 11th week that now that I've been doing eBay on the side of my two jobs, um, been doing really good aside from, this was the first week that I missed one day of listings. So I didn't list my three items up yesterday, which is a little bit stressful, but I had a pretty full on week. Not that that's an excuse, but that's the situation I'm in, which means I have to put six items into my store today. 
which will be the rest of my stock that I actually currently have. So it's also the first time I've kind of run into the problem of not having stock ready to list, but I did a little bit of thrifting before I came to Matt's place today for work and I didn't have any luck. So I'll do some thrifting tomorrow on my day off and see how I go. Um, but yeah, it's doing pretty good. I seem to get like all my sales at the end of the week, like Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, I get sales come through, which is, which is good. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll keep you updated. I'm sure we'll do another video soon as well. I just wanted to take you through Courtney's goals for the week. This is what I've said to Courtney, it would be great if you'd be able to achieve. We've got 105 uh, listings that we need to get done. That's 15 per day. So she's gonna work through that throughout the week. Finish the shoe bin stock take. I'll take you guys through that in just a second. I'm referring to a lot of this stuff here. Uh, and then she's gonna make sure that every single sales order that we get in up until Thursday at five o'clock when she finishes uh, is fulfilled. And she'll, she'll accomplish that over the next four days as well. So that's pretty much what I get Courtney to kind of focus on for her 20 hours a week. It allows me to kind of chip in on finding the 105 items. I get to go out and do some sourcing. Uh, and I also create the content on YouTube. So that's the way it's sort of split up. Uh, and we've been doing really well working on this sort of a, a setup uh, for the last six months. So this here, this is all the stock take uh, that we were doing last week. I got Courtney to make a start on it. She found all of those shoes out of this shoe bin here. So we've actually, she's done six. She's done the bottom run and then she's done one or two here. So she's actually got all of these still to do on stock take. And what she found was all of these shoes here were actually unlisted stock from three years ago. All of these shoes are shoes that I found out in a thrift store, you know, two, three years ago, and I did nothing about changing the listing, manipulating the listing, and eBay actually ended up just killing it off. They just deleted it. So we've got all of this now technically new stock that we can put back into eBay and hopefully have sold. So it's a big task because we've only just kind of made a start, but I think I think I might be able to not go out thrifting. I think all 105 items are gonna be found in all of these tubs here. There's a lot to work through. It's gonna be, be a big week of stock take, but I recommend you guys do that yourself. Do a bit of a stock take. These are all the flea market items as well that we found yesterday. Um, hopefully you caught that video. We're gonna be putting up the Nike Dunks. Unbelievable find. If you haven't seen the flea market video, guys, crazy shoes found in, in, the, uh, in the flea. 50 bucks for those. Got some hats, got some pops, got some of those Fleer uh, Skeleton Warrior cards, which were pretty cool, and a bunch of video games as well. So that'll be a day's worth of listings there. Another day there, and I reckon we're gonna have a whole lot more in here for the next five days as well. Unfortunately, just in business sometimes, you have to do the dirty work, and that's certainly gonna be us for this week. We're gonna be going into all of the tubs, all of the different items, all 2,400 items. Uh, that I've got in this eBay business, and we're gonna make sure that it's all there, a bit of a stock take for the week, limited content as well. We've just come off a seven video series. This is episode seven, this is the outro. We've made it, we've done it. If you're still here after seven videos straight, um, let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear from you. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get stuck into this stock take. I'm gonna conspire, already conspiring a few pretty cool video ideas for the next couple of weeks. Uh, the videos will come again it will just be in a few days time once this stock take is done so look if you're uh, looking for more content please go and tune into any of those other videos that i've just spent the last week making it was a whole heap of work i'm super tired i can't wait to have a pretty good early early night sleep tonight uh, and then get stuck into this stock take for the next couple of days um, genuinely genuinely appreciate you tuning in if you are one of the people that are still here watching now and you haven't clicked off at any point in the video um, you're the ones that I hold nearest and dearest to me. So thank you very much for your support. I truly do mean it. Uh, you're the ones that uh, allow me to keep making the videos. So thank you very much, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.